welcome to August 29th, 2008, sixth work day of the week. So we're going to get right into the Lord's Care Ministry, a light shining from above, day 242 of the year 2008. Whoso is trusting in the Lord, happy is he. Proverbs 16.20 Again, brethren, I mentioned, blow the dust off your Bible. And if you need be, use the pause button so you can find chapter and verse and read along with me. Also write the verses down and read the whole thing before and after to see what we're talking about. Now over to Romans, chapter 4, verses 20 and 21. Abraham staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was also able also to perform. Second Chronicles chapter 13 verse 18 The children of Judah prevailed because they relied upon the Lord God of their fathers. Second Chronicles as I said 13 18 Psalms chapter 46 verses 1 and 2 God is our refuge and strength a very pleasant help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed and through mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Psalms 118 verses 8 through 9. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in men. It is better to trust in the Lord than put, to put confidence in Princesses. Psalm chapter 37 verses 23 through 24. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he is delighting in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord is upholding him with his hands. Brethren, when you read this, you'll find that I am, whenever I find an E-T-H on the end of a word, like upholdeth, I put an is before the word and an I-N-G in place of the E-T-H. And that brings the word up to date and not something in the past. For the Lord is upholding him with his hands. Psalms chapter 34 and verses 8. And nine, O oh, taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that is trusting him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Sorrows of the believer, benefits of affliction, teaches our frailty. Mine age is departed and is removed from me as a shepherd's tent. I have cut off like a weaver my life. He will not cut me, cut me off with pining sickness. Found that in Isaiah chapter 38 and verse 12. Lord, let me know my end, my days, how brief their date, that I might timely comprehend how frail my best estate. In God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. His a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. Teach me the measures of my day. Psalms chapter 39 and verse 4. Lord, make me know my end and the measures of my days what it is that I may know how frail I am. Brethren, do you know how frail you are? Are you following the tradition of men? 
that makes you mighty frail. You can strengthen yourself and become solid by following the Lord's traditions instead of the tradition of men. If you want to change and really follow the Lord, I'm saying no matter what you've been taught, get down on your knees and repent and ask the Lord for forgiveness and ask Him to show you the way of His narrow path to His kingdom. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.